All right, got it all loaded up. Bunch of tools, parts, and everything ready to go. Nathan, Primo, big thank you for letting me use your amazing old school truck. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so we're on our way. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to have all my parts, tools, and stuff. I have to pick up a couple more things on my way there but yeah it's it's a lot of it's gonna be a lot of fun you know hopefully this wagon is back on the road this weekend Big, big day today, starting this engine and trans came out of that S124 wagon. The engine's tired, so we're saving, we're taking the trans and then we're gonna use that other engine. I could use the engine right there for this amazing machine. Same, this one came out of the Euro 300E, I believe, yeah. So this one is going to go to that car and the uh, first thing is going to be power washing it. Since this is a Euro, I'm going to have to swap the, the power string pump with the tandem pump that's on that engine and do a lot of stuff. And I want to power wash this car too. Dylan, say hi guys, follow Dylan. He's uh, one of the best, uh, most amazing car enthusiasts out there. Yep, and that's his amazing Volvo right there. And uh, we're still awaiting some people to show up. But yeah, this car's been sitting for over a year now. Uh, it hasn't been on the road since 2015. And uh, <clears throat> I want to power wash it today. Same with the engine and start working on this car. Biggest thing is going to be having to push this car into the garage. So it's going to be a task. But first thing is I want to power wash this. Look at how filthy it is. Okay, guys, we're starting to clean this engine really well before we it? disassemble it. There you go. Is it delicious? Ooh. <laughs> we started covering all the holes and everything, all the openings. Yeah, and then it's nice. It's going to be really beautiful. Yeah, I've got a new one. I'm gonna reseal that rear main. Oh, this one has this pilot bearing, looks like, too. Because it used to be manual. Nice. Gotta take that out. Same like in your car. Yeah. Not bad. This is 300, but it's the same style. Yeah. Uh, 300 is 3.0 liter. 260 is uh, 2.6 liter.
This man is the king of everything. I don't know what I would do without this man. His name is Dylan. He'd have a dirty motor. Yeah. Super clean. I love the body lines on this wagon, how they just angle in the back. Not quite a Volvo, but still gorgeous. Still working on the engine over here, getting it cleaned up. Wouldn't spend my Friday night any other way. That's so delicious. Mmm. Thank you guys. Thank you, God. All right, so both engines are in. We cleaned quite a bit of this engine that's gonna go in, especially this side, Dylan is the man. Yeah, now we're gonna start removing the intake manifold and a couple other parts and timing cover too. So we can get this thing all refreshed. I got new parts for it. Yep, and gotta finish cleaning it as well. So filthy this engine bay is, I'm starting to clean it. Messed off all the open lines. Yep, let's get this thing cleaned as much as we can. I'm gonna take the rest of that dipstick off. I have a, I have a heater there as well. This little tiny heater, right there, mm -hmm. right there by the, on the shelf. So if you guys need them, oh, you guys thank are more you, than welcome you. to turn it on. the trans now I'm undoing the torque converter bolts had to take the spark plugs out now we can turn this by hand because on this engine everything is missing in front so that's the only way One eternity later. There we go. Torque converter out too. Beautiful. Oh, we got it. She's good. Guys, this is the next morning. So here's what the car looks like. It's not perfect, but I gave it a basically a full wash yesterday. Looks a lot, a lot better. Now we're gonna start working on this engine once again. Later on, we're gonna have a big task to push this car 
into the garage once we clean some space here. But yeah, here's the engine. I'm gonna start removing everything in the front of it. Pulleys and all that. And get it all cleaned up.